Okay, so we've got our propeller pitch gauge here that we've built out. And now we are going to open up this area again. And what you want to do is cut out two propeller blades. So what I typically recommend is that you pick two side by side, although you're going to be stuck on the end. So you want to kind of look at this and look for which of which two blades are the most similar in density? These two, the, the ones that are across from each other, that is. Um, and then the, of the others, you just choose pairs. So like these two and these two. And that came out. Take these two blades and go wet them out um, in water just like you did this wood. I'm soaking wet. Okay, so now we're going to start working on our uh, finishing out our propeller. And actually, we'll leave that in there for a minute. We're going to assemble the propeller hub. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pull out those propeller spars that we had. And we're going to cut out two propeller spars. And be careful because these are very, very thin and, and hence a little on the fragile side. Once it's assembled into a prop, it'll be actually a little bit stronger. And so we'll take those two and we'll get ourselves out a propeller shaft. Now the first thing you're going to do with your propeller shaft is we'll pull out a uh, bearing here because we want the um, we don't want a whole lot of extra propeller shaft length. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this prop shaft in from the back of the bearing. And up to the front. Like this. And now, we're going to measure out about this much extra. So you see that? I'm going to bend this over. And if you're wondering how much extra that was, that's 3 sixteenths of an inch. And now we're going to snip the end. And we'll just leave the extra in there. So that you, let me see if I can get this to focus for you. So you have about that much extra sticking out. Now the shaft will come out of the back of the uh, bearing there. You can just set the shaft down and put the bearing away so we don't lose it because it's tiny and small and all that jazz. So at this point, now take one of your propeller spars. And you can see there's a laser edge like that and a non-lasered edge. See? So this is the edge that the propeller shaft is going to align with. So when you lay the spar down, the lasered edges should be facing out like so. And now we're going to take this propeller shaft and we're going to put some glue on it. And we want to use some CA glue in this case because we want this to be a pretty, um, pretty rigid joint.
And we're going to take this, and remember we've got the um, lasered edges facing out. There we go. Right. So you want it perpendicular, just like that. It's not quite perpendicular, but it's close. And I popped it loose. Genius me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to eyeball it in here. I'm going to put another glob of glue on here. It doesn't have to be a huge glob. But I'm going to put my other spar in here. You can lay this down on a block of wood or something to make sure it's right. Which is what I should be doing because I'm making a total mess of things. There we go. And now it's all set. So you end up with this. And we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now that we've got this uh, propeller assembly going together here, um, and the glue does appear to finally be hardened, and you do want to sight uh, down here to make sure everything's nice and straight, like so. Um, we'll go ahead and we're going to take out the, uh, the Teflon tubing just so we go ahead and have this installed on the prop. Um, and what you're going to do, this stuff is tiny and you're going to snip off a piece that's less than a 32nd of an inch long. So you're forming it into basically a washer. That is stuck on the edge of the razor blade. I don't know if you can see, you see how tiny that is? It's right there in the corner. That's all we've cut off. The reason we include so much more than you actually need is because chances are, like me, you will lose the first few pieces. Maybe even the first few hundred. And you're going to go cross-eyed, attempting to slide this onto the shaft. But the bottom line is, now it's on there. There you go. See that? That's it right there. That's all you need. And so that should stay put on your on your prop shaft. Put the rest of your Teflon tubing back into the little baggie and zip it shut. Don't want to lose it. Now at this point you can take your so slide that Teflon tubing up against the propeller spar and we're gonna drop this whole propeller spar assembly into these two notches right here, like that. And now, give yourself a really, really thin piece of this masking tape. And we're just going to gently slide this through here. We don't want to flex the propeller shaft as we're doing this. We just want to secure it in there, like that. And so you can see that it's able to turn a little bit. Um, my shaft is actually digging into the side of the, the frame here a little bit, so we'll have to address that somewhat, but it's in there. Actually, I'm going to press that in just a little tighter, because I want to make sure this part of the shaft is going to give us a consistent alignment. Now the next thing we're going to do unwrap our propeller blades. Remember these are really really thin balsa. They're stuck together in here. They're nice and dry. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to gently tease these apart. Because we pressed them in there pretty good. And so you just want to, there we go, at that point, they snap apart. Now, at this point, we should I should have stopped a minute ago and taken a measurement here, but I failed to do that. So, we want this propeller to be 6 inches in diameter. 
And so that means that the center of the, the, the blade tips need to be three inches out from the hub of the propeller. Now I'm actually going to fudge that. I'm going to go for a six and a half inch prop. Um, so you have several options on that. The main thing is you want to stay under seven inches. Because the rules dictate that the maximum... Oh, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing here. Let's stick, do this again. All right, so I've got this blade on here, and I don't, I'm not concerned about its alignment in this direction. All I'm concerned about is the distance from the tip to right here. So for a six and a half inch prop, I need this tip to be at the three and a quarter inch mark from the center here. And all I'm doing now is I'm going to take my pin and I'm going to put a mark on the propeller spar right here where the root of the blade sits on this. Let me show you what that looks like. You see that mark right there. Now at this point, I'm actually going to take a piece of tape here. Because that spar is not wanting to stay uh, flat up against the um, this block. So we want this resting right here. And now what we're going to do is from that mark out to the tip we're just going to put a very, very well, we're going to try to put a very, very thin layer of this glue and it doesn't have to be continuous, you can be a few dots here and there going out there. And we're going to stick that cap back on and now, you want to use the little, there are little marks that are laser cut into the spar here. And all we're doing is lining the spar up on those marks on the blade. We'll get it situated. Now, the thing that you'll notice is the blade does not lay flat against that pitch bar, but what you want is for where it crosses here, you want it to be parallel to this. And this gives you a fairly steep pitch angle, and the glue is starting to harden. So at this point, if I don't bother this, it's going to hold. So I can go ahead and I can actually release that tape. I can go ahead and very gently slide this around, except that's not working. So I'm actually going to have to take this prop loose, unfortunately. It's not what I wanted to do. Make sure I don't lose my washer here. And so now I'm sliding this guy back in over on the other side. There we go. So I've got the tape in here. And it's secure. And props laying in place. So we're going to repeat that same arrangement here. running out of hands. What else is new? Alright, so I want a six and a half inch prop, we said. So three and a quarter inch radius. So I'm going to make my little mark on here, just like I did before. I'm just doing the exact same procedure. to control the amount of glue because I don't want too much. And again, just dabbing. And that's actually more than I wanted.
There we go. And now I'm going to stick this prop on here. Except I misaligned it like a doofus. Why'd the other one go so much more smoothly? Now you all get to see that I am not a perfect builder. But I play one on the internet. Alright, so in theory that's holding now holding parallel, all that jazz. So now we actually have, um, frankly we have a very nice looking mini stick propeller here. Um, so I'm going to set that down and I'm going to show you something that you as an indoor modeler, since you're building a, a fairly sophisticated airplane here, you need to have tools like electronic milligram scales especially since they cost um, about $10 right now, $20 for a nice one. So here's my milligram scale that is filthy as can be. And I'm going to drop you back down here so you can see. We're going to turn this on. While it's turning on, I'm going to check. And yeah, my blades are try it on there about the way I want them to be. I think this side may be a little over pitched but I can tweak that by hand later. And now we're going to take this little guy off of here. We're indicating zero. And I'm going to drop this on here. Oop, maybe I'm not. There we go. And that propeller weighs 114 milligrams, which that's, um, believe it or not, that's actually surprisingly, um, that, I won't say surprising, that's much heavier than what a lot of people want for a, a finished mini stick propeller. That being said, I'm happy with it. It looks cute and it will propel the airplane well. We've tested this uh, propeller design out uh, fairly extensively and, it, and it's a proven product that, that works well. So, with that, you have finished what is probably the hardest part of building a mini stick, and that is the propeller. Looks cute.